A former Iowa State University football player could learn why he was targeted in a state gambling investigation next week. Jirel Brock is charged with identity theft and tampering with records. He's accused of placing sports bets using an app registered to a different person. Brock's attorney filed a motion today demanding investigators turn over all communications on why the investigation was undertaken, how law enforcement officials made determination about which accounts to investigate further, and how often the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission collects location data on Android and iPhones. A Story County judge will consider the motion on Tuesday. An agent with the Division of the Investigation already testified during a deposition just last week that the case involved an illegal search. Des Moines attorney Alfredo Parrish agrees. It is an invasion of privacy. It's obtaining uh, information from people without a warrant. It's obtaining information from people without giving a judge some say so. That's why we have judges. So judges can go in and evaluate uh, warrants targeted toward a person to see if it's valid. You can't use this type of software in this country, in my opinion, to obtain a go on a fishing expedition. What Parrish calls a fishing expedition led to charges against 15 Iowa and Iowa State athletes. Nine have already pled guilty to the lesser offense of underage gambling. Depending how the investigation unfolds and more becomes public, Parrish says those cases could end up back in court. And it's disappointing that uh, the uh, DCI is able to function in this uh, fashion, first without a warrant, and second, taking these charges, which are somewhat serious, and then uh, telling people, well, if you do a misdemeanor, we'll let you walk away. There is a remedy for them to go back and say, hey, this is new information discovered yeah. in this case. I want my plea set aside. The criminal side could be just the start. Anyone who had their information exposed in the investigation could also have a case. And I think uh, they're going to look at the selective prosecution. I think they're going to look at this warrant issue. And um, um, after that, I think if that's resolved favorably, I, I, I would imagine there would be some civil litigation on this. And it goes back to your point you asked earlier. What about all these other people where this data was illegally captured, right? What happens to them? If they make a disclosure, they may have a, a lawsuit also.